Hey everybody, Jace here with Corsair. Welcome back to our second video of our Battlefield 4 upgrade series. In the first video, we covered graphics cards and power supplies, and you can click that at any time right there with that annotation. But as for today, we're going to cover memory and SSDs. Battlefield 4 is a huge game. It requires about 30 gigabytes, and with your Windows 7 installation, you're looking somewhere between 50 or 60 gigs, so you want to make sure you upgrade your SSD to something a little bit bigger to make up for the fact that you might play other games. So in my old Battlefield 3 system, I used my Force 3 120 gig, but for Battlefield 4, I'm going to upgrade to our 240 gig Neutron Series GTX, which is faster, and with the upgraded NAND, it's able to prolong the life of the drive. Both of these options are much better than, you know, your old grandma's platter drive, so make sure to consider upgrading to an SSD. Also, you can easily transfer your old data off your existing drive to your new SSD using our SSD cloning kit. So once you've transferred all your data off your existing drive, installing your new SSD is super easy. Just unscrew the old drive from the drive tray, then screw the new drive on. Now, you just need to slide it back into the case and plug it in. So now that we installed our new SSD, let's move on to memory. Battlefield 4 recommends 8 gigabytes, but I would say for better performance, you better go with 16 gigs. A 16 gig kit will allow you to run background programs or maybe if you want to do some screen capturing in the future. All right, so my old system here had 16 gigabytes of vengeance memory running at 1600 megahertz, which was all right for Battlefield 3 and it could be good for Battlefield 4, but I'm gonna go a little bit overkill and install Dominator Platinum 32 gigabyte kit running at 1866 megahertz. This Dominator Platinum kit will future-proof my system for any new generation of gaming and with 1866 megahertz, I'm gonna be able to run this game with increased performance. Memory is one of the easiest components to upgrade. Just pop open the clips and slide each module out one at a time. Then the new memory will slide right in until it clips into place. Make sure to double check the notch before installing. So in addition to my new graphics card and power supply, I have a super fast SSD and enough memory where I can pretty much do anything. Make sure to tune to the next video where we go over the best keyboard, mouse, and headset to use. And if you have any questions, here's how to get in touch with us.